In this video, you will learn how to solve a trigonometric equation graphically. You will also learn what the difference is between the solution of a trig equation on a specified domain and what we call the general solution. Let's take a look at an example. Say you want to solve the equation sine x is equal to 0 0.4. Well, we can graph the functions on each side of this equation. First, the sinusoidal function on the left-hand side, followed by the constant function on the right-hand side. Now you can see that on the domain from 0 to 2 pi, that there are two points where the x-coordinates uh, return the same y-coordinates for both sides of the equation. Okay, um, These are found at the points of intersection, and the x-coordinates, in this case x equals 0.412 and x equals 2.73, represent the solutions, or the roots as we sometimes call them, of the equation sine x is equal to 0 0.4. Now, if the domain were then extended to uh, 4 pi, Okay, there's 4 pi, then we can see that we would actually pick up additional points of intersection and therefore pick up additional roots. We would now have four solutions to the equation on the domain, specifically uh, 0 0.412, 2.73, 6.695, and 9.013. Notice that this point here, and or this solution here, and this solution over here are separated from each other by exactly one cycle. Similarly, this solution right here, or if I could call it a root, is separated by one cycle from this root. Uh, basically, what that tells us is that if you start at any root, right, any given root, you will find another root exactly one period later. Okay, so keep that in mind as we move on to the next section. Sometimes you may be asked to determine the roots of a trig equation on the domain of real numbers, and this is called asking for the general solution. So if we don't specify that you're only looking for points of intersection between 0 and 2 pi or 0 and 4 pi, then you'll basically have an unlimited number of roots because you will have an unlimited number of points of intersection. Wherever these two graphs intersect, there is another solution to the equation sine x is equal to 0 0.4. Fortunately, you now know that roots repeat after every cycle. Therefore, we can express the general solution of a trigonometric equation by stating the two initial roots, so in this case x equals 0.412 and x equals 2.73, and simply adding multiples of the period to get the other roots. Right? So in this case, the period is precisely the width of one cycle, and since it's just sine x, that period is 2 pi. So this might be how you would write it. We would say x is equal to 0 0.412 plus multiples of 2 pi. So we would go 2n and pi. Uh, as well, uh, x could also be, this one here was 2.73. So we could go 2.73 plus multiples of pi. And then, of course, we should mention what, what kind of number n is. So n is an element of, let me just extend this a little bit, n is an element of the integers, okay? And that's possibly the best I can do it under the circumstances. So to summarize, you can find the roots of a trigonometric equation by graphing, simply by graphing the functions on each side of the equation and noting what the points of intersection are on the specified domain. If it's between 0 and 2 pi for this question, then there's only two roots, and they are at 0.412 and x equals 2.73. If you extend that domain or change it in any way, say for example from 0 to 2 pi to 0 to 4 pi, then you will pick up additional points of intersection, and again, you would have to list those points as uh, additional roots. And then finally, if we don't put any limits, uh, if we don't put any limits on the domain of where you can have uh, uh, roots or solutions, then what we're asking for is called the general solution. And what you would have to do is come up with an expression uh, consisting in this case of two statements where you start with one root, you state one root, and then you simply add multiples of the period to that root to generate other solutions. And then of course, if you have uh, a, another initial root, then you would pick that as well and add multiples of the period to get additional roots.